You probably know that the real estate sales profession is mostly commission-based. You will only get paid when a deal is closed. However, not everyone likes the unpredictability of this compensation model. Not knowing how much you could make could be really stressful. So are there any real estate agents who get a base salary? Yes, I found that some companies are actually offering a base salary to their real estate sales team. Here are four scenarios that a real estate agent gets a base salary. Scenario number one, hired by a real estate brokerage. As mentioned before, a real estate brokerage would rarely pay their salesperson a salary. In fact, I did not come across any salaried agent until I started researching for this video. After hours of researching, I found a Seattle-based brokerage firm that would pay a base salary to their agents. According to their company website, they hire real estate agents and compensate them with a salary and bonuses. The 2017 median income of their agents is 107% higher than others in the industry. Unlike a traditional independent contractor's model, their agents are employees of the company. Their salespeople can also earn premium healthcare benefits, paid time off, and parental leave. Scenario number two, work for a real estate builder. Rather than solely relying on outside brokerages in selling their properties, some real estate developers would directly employ their own sales associates. These type of projects are mostly for condo units and townhouses. As a sales associate, you could be working at a sales office. Your duties could include introducing the new development project to potential clients, explaining the terms of the purchase, responding to the client's inquiries, and closing sales. Scenario number three, become a licensed assistant. Many real estate agents or brokers are excellent at generating quality leads. But sometimes they have too many things on their plate, so they would delegate tasks to their assistant. For example, handling admin duties, marketing, open houses, paperwork, and follow up with clients. In most instances, you would be compensated either by hourly pay or a salary. If you're looking for employment like this, you could try contacting the top producing sales agents in your area. Scenario number four, work for a property management company. Well, this one is technically not working as a real estate agent. But in many states, you are required to have a real estate license in becoming a property manager. Especially when you are dealing with rental units. Unless you are running your own firm, most property managers are employees of a company. They are paid a base salary and other benefits. As a property manager, you'll be responsible for handling the tenants, maintaining the property, and resolving any issues related to the units. Now, let's go through some of the benefits of being a salaried real estate agent. Benefit number one, the company pays the agent expenses. There are many expenses to be in the real estate sales profession. When you are a salaried real estate agent, most companies will pay for them. The most common expenses may include license fees, E&O premium, CE courses, marketing expenses, office equipment, MLS subscription and travel expense. Benefit number two, provide with employee benefits. In addition to salary, some companies would offer health coverage to their agents. This could be a major consideration for many people as the cost of prescription drugs and medical expenses could be significant. When the health coverage is enrolled through a company, not only there could be a discount on the premium, but it also gives employees and their family access to the plan. This could be a huge benefit for those who cannot obtain individual coverage due to their health condition or pre-existing medical condition. Benefit number three, training with a systematic approach. Many real estate brokers welcome commissioned agents to their firm because adding on more salespeople does not necessarily increase their overall expenses. However, some are reluctant to allocate too much time and resources in training them. After all, it might not cost them much when an agent is not producing a lot of sales. The brokers could just counter this problem by recruiting more sales associates. This is why many new agents are left hanging and unsure of how to develop their real estate practice. On the other hand, when a firm is paying a base salary to sales associates, they have a greater incentive to ensure each one of them is meeting the performance standard. These real estate brokerages would ensure their sale process is proven to be working so that they can teach this to their agents where they can replicate the success model for the company. So what are the downsides for being a salaried real estate agent? Number one, you don't own the business. If you own a real estate brokerage, by the time you exit the industry, you may sell the company. 
Many brokers would use the proceed to supplement their retirement incomes. If you are just a salaried employee, the value of the company really doesn't concern you because you are not the owner. Of course, unless your employer gives you stock options or have a profit sharing plan. 2. You need to constantly prove that you worth the salary. When a company pays you a base salary, they would require you to make enough sales to justify their investments on you. In the first couple of months of training, some might give you a grace period on the sales quota requirement. But if you always cannot meet the sales quota, then I'm sure they wouldn't keep you for too long. However, some people would have a slower learning curve, or they enjoy working freely without the sales quota pressure. In such cases, being a commissioned agent may be a more suitable choice. So here are some of my finding about agents getting a base salary. But wait. I haven't revealed which is the real estate firm that hires salaried agents. When I read the figures on their website, the median income of their agents are significantly higher than others in the industry. You may head on to our website at realestatecareerhq.com to read the full article. I'll include a link in the description box below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. This way, I can keep you posted with helpful ideas about different real estate professions.